Freckles and I'm back for another video and in this one it's all about how we're going to make those decisions. So you've gone through the whole decision initially about what type of childcare you felt was right for you and then you've gone, have I gone DIY or agency and then in the last episode when we talked about doing it, um, the interviewing and what you were going to ask and what you were looking for in that CV, things like that. So, And in this one it's all about making that decision, so you've got your candidates lined up and you just need to offer one of those and the opportunity. So there's only one bit of advice that I can really give you, but I want this whole episode is about that because it's so important. And that is to go with your gut. Don't try and rationalize it. Don't try and justify it. If you think something isn't right, don't do it. If you feel like your head and your heart are battling and you're compromising away from what your gut and your conscience is telling you, then don't do it. It's just, I've seen it, we've been there, everybody's done it, we've all done it and I've seen it happen. And I know it's easy for me to stand here and potentially say, go with your gut, you know, and you're going, but Joe, I have got to have a nanny and I have got to have somebody picking up my children in two weeks time but that person just isn't right and you're telling I don't feel like I really am jumping up and down with joy with that person but I need help and I'm telling you to go with your gut and not, not hire them that's you know that's tough because you have to make that decision to carry on tumbling through um, to get there but it is so worth it in the long run if you, when you meet that person, you should want to jump up and down for joy, you should almost be in tears because you've on off them a job, you are excited about them joining your family, your kids are excited, you just feel that this is it, this is, this, it's connected, it's good, and it works. And that's where you have to, you have to say, go with your gut, but you can go with your gut at all levels. So at that initial stage, go with your gut with the agencies that you choose, go with your gut um, when you have that prelim maybe phone call with somebody or that first round interview with somebody and don't worry if you can't rationalise it. Um, that can be really infuriating that you can't rationalise it but don't let it bother you and don't let it sway your decision. Um, so we sometimes get people saying to us, you know, she was so nice Joe, and blah 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 but something, I just don't know, maybe I'm being this, maybe I'm being that and then I've got, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry that that's not right. It's frustrating because I don't know what I've done wrong and I don't know how to improve but ultimately I do not want you to compromise away from your values and the key thing about that is we all hold values and standards that are really important to ourselves and our gut is what guides us on those things. So if we make a decision that aligns with that then that decision will last. So if we make a decision to offer somebody a job based on the alignment that we feel then that will, generally speaking, that will last, that will be good and it'll, there'll be longevity there, there'll be the commitment that you want for your children and for yourselves and it'll feel great. If we don't align, then we will offer that job and ultimately it's probably going to break down and generally they break down within a few months and you end up in the, before the process of it actually breaking, so when they leave you end up with a few weeks of additional stress, anxiety, whereas we could have caveated at that if you just stayed strong to yourself and to what you want and what you believe in, then you potentially wouldn't have ended up there um, and going through that stress to then have to find somebody else again and go through the process again. And finding a nanny, it's exhausting, it's a long process, so don't rush that last little bit. That's all I ask of you. Don't rush, go back, stop. You should want to be jumping up and down as I said, you should want to kind of tell everybody, and that's great. If you don't feel that, just say thank you so much, but something isn't right. Because the chances are they felt the same thing, but they don't want to admit it, okay? So that's it. When you're making that decision, you, it's only you who can make that decision, and you just have to go with your gut. Go with what you believe in and get that help from somebody else, but don't feel like you have to justify it. Don't feel 
that you should convince yourself because they're perfect on paper, just go with your gut. If you want any help with this, if you want to chat through, um, you know, just give us a ring or contact us. We'll put it in the comments and, you know, we'll help where we can. But it's kind of the toughest part of this process is because it falls down to you now at this point. Um, you know, I say that's all, all of our clients. Like, I can't make that decision for you. I can advise and give my opinion, but I can't take that away from you because you have to be the person that feels amazing as a result. So that's it for the little bit where you offer the job is just about going with your gut. And in the next episode, we're gonna go through um, all the paperwork side, all that fun stuff that we now need to think about. We've offered our dream job out to our dream candidate. Um, we just wanna get everything tidied up, ready to go, okay? Any questions, then let me know, and I really hope you found that helpful. See you soon.